I certainly think that everybody has the uh, the right to marriage, and uh, it's something which I uh, noted in my inaugural speech to the Victorian Parliament a few years ago. Uh, and uh, and I think it is we are getting there. I think more and more politicians are, are moving to to support uh, marriage equality, and, uh, and and I think it is the right thing to do. Look, I think both civil unions and a state-based marriage system uh, is not marriage equality. Uh, in my view, it, uh, it's further discrimination. And uh, what I want to see is, uh, the, uh, in the federal sphere, uh, marriage equality for all people. Uh, it may be that the state-based uh, state marriage may be a stepping stone to that, uh, but uh, certainly I think the, uh, uh, the challenge in the, uh, uh, in the, uh, regarding the ACT legislation uh, is, a, is a constitutional challenge and I actually support that uh, marriage should be a, uh, a federal institution uh, and, uh, and you know, the, the real uh, uh, end game to getting this, uh, this through is, is, to having, is having a conscience vote for uh, for members of parliament, uh, because I think with a, with a conscience vote, then uh, it's it's very likely that the numbers will be there to uh, uh, to get uh, real federal marriage up. Uh, well, the, the 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 Liberal Party policy is uh, is is not to support same sex marriage, uh, but uh, there are many many senior Liberals and uh, many members of the, the, the broader party who uh, are in favour and see it as a conscience issue and certainly the, uh, the Prime Minister has indicated that uh, it will be up to the party room to decide whether this will be a conscience vote in Parliament uh, and I think that's where we can uh, actually progress the issue in, in that uh, th those who uh, want to lobby their local po federal politicians uh, to support a conscience vote. Uh, uh, if we get more than 50% within the party room then then uh, it frees people up to, to vote uh, with their conscience. And uh, certainly uh, there, are, there are Liberals who are on the record uh, in, in support of same-sex uh, uh, marriage, but there's also uh, s people on the record who are supportive of a conscience vote who may not necessarily support marriage equality. Uh, and that's, that's just as important to, to get the issue up uh, in Parliament. Well, in my view, a state-based marriage system is, is further discrimination. Uh, it's not marriage equality if uh, same-sex couples can't marry under the same laws as the rest of the community. Uh, so while a, a state-based system may, if, it, if it's found to be constitutionally valid, uh, it may be a, a stepping stone and may be a, uh, a marker to the community that, uh, that there is support for uh, for same-sex marriage. I don't think that is the, uh, the ultimate uh, goal that anybody would be happy with. Well, the Liberal Party's got a very proud history of uh, support for uh, GLBTI issues, uh, starting with the decriminalisation of homosexuality uh, uh, back in the 80s, which uh, uh, in Victoria and uh, virtually every state in, in Australia, uh, it was a Liberal government that, uh, uh, that decriminalised. And uh, I've been in Parliament for a few years, and just in my short time in, in Parliament, there's a number of initiatives which we've uh, 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 we've instigated, which in, including uh, uh, setting up Pronto in Fitzroy, which is a, uh, a rapid testing uh, centre for uh, for HIV. Uh, we've put significant money into mental health issues for uh, same-sex attracted kids. Um, we've uh, uh, set up a ministerial advisory committee uh, uh, for the GLBTI community. Uh, so there's 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 many issues which we're working on. One, and one of the really significant issues which I'm working on at the moment is. Uh, uh, the issue of expunging the criminal records of those who were convicted of gay sex uh, back in the uh, back in, uh, pre pre nineteen eighties, and uh, this is an issue which uh, is affects men's lives uh, today. Uh, most of these men are, are, are elderly now, but they are still impacted. If they travel, they have to lie that they whether they have a con criminal conviction or not. If they go for working with children, check they have to declare that, um, and uh, for employment. So. Uh, this is an issue which uh, uh, has been bubbling away for, for some time and it was a Liberal government that decriminalised the uh, for homosexuality and, and I hope that it will be a Liberal government that finishes the job.